Well, obviously, frightening images that we saw at the start of that first start for race number eight with all the damage to Carl's car and also to Steve Owen's car. To get more of the story, let's go back down to the pit lane with Mark Larkin to have a look at the Fair Dinkum Shed's entry. OK, well, I can tell you, I've never seen fuel and fire come into the cockpit of a V8 supercar as it has in this instance. Let's just have a look inside the cockpit here. Now, you can see, look at Carl's seat. The flame has come right through and burnt all of his seat. Look at here's his gear stick, his drink tubes and what have you. The remarkable thing on the roof here, all the paint is burnt there. It's burnt everything here. Now, what's probably going to render this car useless over time? If you can see in here, there's a crisscross of roll tube there. That's all kinked. It's kinked here, I can tell you, and kinked down in there. Now, that means that that car is probably, I, I would suggest, won't be repaired. Now, if we come round to the back of the car, what's quite remarkable is that the rear window stayed intact, which is great. However, because that's usually where the fuel will go through. Fuel cell normally sits about here. You can see there's the bladder. It's got a bladder and it's surrounded by an aluminium box. Now that aluminium box is peeled under. There's the foam that sits inside the fuel cell. There are the fuel pumps that sit inside the fuel cell, fully exposed. Now normally there's this steel wall here. Well, you can see it there. That's your firewall. So that stops it going through. But what's happened in this instance? Look, that's popped open from the impact and that's let the fuel go into the cockpit and that's what's done the damage. Just extraordinary to see those images. This is the replay of the start from the starters rostrum. The car stalled Simon out. The yellow flags are flying, but that is one of the most frightening, if not the most frightening thing that I've ever seen on a start line. But Scafi, I've got to say, the Western Australian Sporting Car Club volunteers did a brilliant job intervening, as did all the safety gear in the car and the clothing that the drivers are wearing. Oh, no doubt. You have a look at the, where our safety has come from. The, the Coulthard crash at Bathurst, this sort of crash, and Carl Reiner, our guys are already on site there with him. The safety car's pulled up. Carl, Dr. Carl Lee is there running. All the other teams have jumped the fence there to help put that out. I mean, it's an extraordinary action. And I, I mean, I'm very, very proud that you could have an accident like that and really no one seriously hurt. Had a quick word to Brad Jones as well. And he does have a caged shell back at the workshop. But now they have the enormous stress of trying to turn around the REM car in preparation for our next event, which will be in northeastern Victoria at Winton. That's going to be a massive job for those guys. Oh, look, it certainly will be. And we know when you're in the middle of the season like this and to get a car up and running again from that position, we've looked at the car. You and I looked at it closely. That's the car that we won at Eastern Creek in many years ago. And honestly, it is destroyed. I haven't seen a car that damaged for a long time. While that's going on, Neil, I've managed to grab Carl Reindler's race suit from that big start line incident earlier on. Now, there you are. This is a really good story. You can see there, that's actually his, the buckle from the net, the net that's on the side of the car there. It's melted to him. But the really good story, these race suits are about 1500 2000 bucks. Uh, they're triple layer Nomex. You can see the sewn-in Nomex underwear there. Now, I've turned this thing inside out, and not one little bit of that fire flame or burning has got through over the inside and as you said earlier Scafie makes you really proud when you see shunts like that and people can get out you know relatively unscathed I mean it's a good story that's great technology it certainly is Larko and remember the guys have also got another layer of underwear under that that you've just shown us so there's effectively the three layers and uh, of all the years of looking at big accidents Neil and I have already commented this is Probably the most dramatic one I've ever seen and uh, fantastic testament to modern motorsport for those two guys to get out of it.